Music is once again filling the stands around the Farmingdale High School football field. The band is making their presence heard for the first time since that terrifying bus crash two weeks ago. Tonight, though, the band is incomplete, missing its director, Gina Pelletieri. She, as well as Beatrice Ferrari, a retired teacher, were killed in the crash. They'll be honored with a moment of silence before tonight's kickoff. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands. Today is bittersweet for the Farmingdale community. Right now, you can see a sea of green behind me and the bleachers all in support of this homecoming game. There was a pep rally that started at 5. The game is going to start at 6.30. I want to get you to some video of that pep rally. The marching band is comprised of several hundred members. The pep band and drum line, which are part of the overall marching band, will play during the rally. And this is homecoming. So there's a lot of excitement, but it's also a time of reflection, pain, and grief. Now, the school's marching band lost their band director, 43 year old Gina Pelletieri, affectionately called Mrs. P by her students. They also lost a chaperone, 77 year old Beatrice Ferrari, who was a retired teacher. And both women were killed two weeks ago in a bus crash off of I 84 in Orange County. The bus was carrying 40 students from Farmingdale High School heading to the Poconos for a weekend band camp. Event. The pep rally ended just before six. The band members will come out momentarily, but I spoke with some folks who have deep ties to this community. How tragic for the whole community and the family and the band members, and uh, even for the kids that had to turn around and go back. I mean, it was uh, this is their first night back on the field. I said, I got to make that trip, yeah. and, uh, and here we are. We live across the street and just to kind of be supportive of our community. We watch the buses load up and we were reminiscing like, wow, remember when Lynette, uh, you know, our daughter went, our son went, or, and our granddaughter went. So um, it, was, it was definitely at that time excitement and then we were at the airport and my daughter sent it to us. It was just, we were crushed. Now that marching band is coming out right now. Crowds are cheering. I'm going to step out of the side so you can see them for yourself. They'll be coming out with the football team. The crowds are roaring right now. Again, it's homecoming, but it's also honoring this marching band along with the players. Uh, so we are uh, catching them come out right now. You can see them live here. Again, crowds going wild across here for this band, the tragedy that they endured for those two women who lost their lives. We'll, of course, be here throughout this game and the performance that this band will do. They did it once at the pep rally. They're expected to do it again at halftime. There will also be a moment of silence. Reporting, you've been farming. Eyewitness News. Nice to hear that show support for this band.